Throughout the biggest trial of the decade, there had been questions about if Amber Heard could go to jail for Johnny Depp's verdict in their defamation case, and the chances she could be charged with perjury now that the trial is over. In the Virginia courtroom, it was pointed out that Aquaman Ace had edited the photograph she submitted as evidence of abuse. She is also said to have tampered with other evidence, an indication that she could have been lying when under oath. Defamation lawyer Aaron Mink told an online portal that more and more objective evidence that she is lying about things under oath could lead to the actress ending up in jail. So what are the chances of the actress spending the rest of the year behind bars? Let's find out. Deb and Amber were married from 2015 to 2016. The actress filed for divorce in May 2016 after 15 months of marriage. In her divorce filing, she also obtained a temporary restraining order against Depp, claiming that he abused her while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Depp denied the accusations and a $7 million settlement was reached out of court in August 2016. Heard pledged to donate the money to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. The two aid in a joint statement at the time. Depp's lawyers openly accused Amber of editing photos of her alleged injuries to make her face look more red during the trial. Legal experts believe that could form ground solid enough to make the actress a convict. Camille Vasquez, Depp's attorney, grilled the 36-year-old during her cross-examination and pointed out inconsistencies in Amber's previous testimony. As part of the line of questioning, Camille showed the court images of the Justice League star that she claimed had been edited. Part of the evidence provided by Amber's team against Depp had been photos seemingly showing bruises and other injuries on the actress's face. But Camille wasn't convinced. When two pictures were presented side by side, Amber claimed they were two separately taken photos with different lighting. The light is on in both of these pictures, though, Camille argued. Amber responded by saying, One of the lights is a vanity light. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs, the lawyer asked Amber, and you just enhanced the saturation from one of these photos to make your face look more red? As expected, she denied both claims, stating that she has never edited a photograph. But now, defamation lawyer Aaron Mink has shaded light on that matter and says Amber will likely end up in jail if found to have tampered with the photos. Mink added that he did not think that a few days ago, Amber, by any chance, could face prosecution for anything she had said. But certainly things changed his mind. He said, I think that as this case goes on, we start seeing more and more objective evidence that she is lying about things under oath. That's when it starts crossing the line into the possibility that she is fabricating evidence, fabricating photos, fabricating bruises, altering evidence, and then submitting it, he continued. He warned that falsifying evidence is not only really serious, but also really offensive to the jurisdiction system. He concluded, I would hope that prosecutors would take a close look at it, because if there is a very clear evidence that she did that, she should certainly be considered. If it was proven that that was the case, and there are certainly some questions being raised in the trial currently, that could potentially lead to a criminal prosecution and jail time. Social media users, too, questioned Amber's testimony, with some seemingly convinced that the images shown in court were fabricated. TikTok user Crystal Mayfield posted the full interaction between Amber and Vasquez. Amber Heard photoshopped her injury photos, was the TikTok user's assessment. The exchange between Camille and Amber was widely shared online, with the video getting 1.9 million views, she wrote, It's the same picture, OMG, and hundreds of people agreed with her in the comment section. It is the same photo. Every hair strand is exactly the same, one user wrote, while another added, It would be impossible to turn on a light and have your hair identically in the same position. There's something called gravity. Another suggested that Amber could be accused of lying under oath if this was investigated further. She testified under oath that she didn't edit it. If the metadata shows she did, it's perjury. On Twitter, many users posted their own evidence, which supported the claims that the photos were edited. David Horseman overlaid the two images on top of each other to show the similarities. Aside from the color differences, the images seemed to line up perfectly. Another user, Psychology Girl 7 posted a short video showing how simple it is to edit the original image so that the color of Amber's skin changes. There you have it. Do you think Amber should be prosecuted if found culpable of forging her photos? 
Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.